unwrapping UVs. So oftentimes I have students ask me, well, can Maya unwrap UVs? So just like before, we could take an automatic map this cube and then put it back together. Now, that seems a little easy for a cube, but if it was a complex shape of some nature, it would take me a long time to put all these back together without many seams showing. So another way we can do this is think about the object and where we would cut it in 3D land in order to unwrap it over here. So let's think about taking a knife and cutting here, 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 and here, right? The first thing would have to happen though is all the UVs would have to touch because these are already cut. So we start out with a different type of map which is often a planar map. Let's get into a side view and go into planar mapping. It's located here under planar mapping, square box, and make sure the camera option is set. By default it is not. And hit apply. Now we have this cube. It shows red in the UV texture editor window. and you'll see this widget. Okay, Let's just off click and we already know that red is bad. Red represents that all these, all these shells are on top of each other and therefore it's not going to be um, texturable later on. So now let's think about where we would cut this with our magical scoring knife. Right here, right here, right here, right here and right here. So if I had an X-Acto knife and cut those edges using the cut tool, I should be able to unfold this correctly by hand. Well, how it works in Maya is you right click over here and go to UV. Highlight all the UVs and then go to this tool, Smooth UV. And then I can click and drag on unfold, and sure enough, it unfolds. Now that works really well with a cube. <laughs> but what if I had a weird shape? Let's take a second and go like this. There we go. Now it's a very weird shape. How would I unwrap the UVs for this? Well, I would start somewhere. You know, there's always somewhere you got to start. And for this object, you just look for the biggest linear surface. Sometimes I do it that way. Um, there's a thousand ways you can do UVs. The end run needs to be texturable, however. So let's look at that side thing again. Let's uh, create UVs, planar mapping. Okay. In this case, I have it mapped this way now. How would I even dream about cutting this with an X-Acto knife? Well, start out small and think that way. I like separating my forms out. So for this form and this form, I think those two should be maybe two forms. So I will cut there. And then I can go to UV to shell and drag that one away. Again, I think these two forms should be separated. So let's go to cut, V to shell, put that over there. Now let's think about unwrapping just these objects. Well, for me, I would probably choose something like this if I had the box. If I had this object in real life, 
I would probably cut them right here. Does that yield good results? Well, let's go over here, go to UV, and then unfold. And yes, it does. Okay, this one's really easy. I would probably just cut it here. Cut. Let's grab all the UVs and try to unfold. Wow, that makes really good results there too. And this one is just about the same as the bottom. I would probably cut there. And cut these corners. Does that have good results? UV, unfold. Perfect. Now, that I have the unfolding of these down pat, is there something I can do to minimize my seams? And the answer is yes. I could attach some of these shells to each other. So this edge and this edge, they could be connected here or here to there. So I'm going to go to move and sew. I'll grab this one and hit move and sew. And there we go. We now have an, a completely unwrapped object. So when you're unfolding things, you have to think about how the forms are changing and what would make it easier to unfold it. Also, we have to worry about uniformity, but I think that would be a later lesson. Just know that this should be more like this. But for right now, that'll get you started in the world of unfolding UVs. Enjoy.